What's going on everyone? My name is Legit Bread, and this is a crappy Nerf gun. I bought this old Recon from a garage sale in Hawaii a couple years back, and as you can tell, this is very used. This only came with the stock and the barrel attachment, no other accessories. And this kid did a bunch of wacky things to this blaster. He has Micro Uzi written there, up there, and right here. He's got, I think his name i don't even know what that is <laughs> right there he's got mk47 written here there is sharpie everywhere i don't even know what kind of marker he used here but we got to fix this up i absolutely love infinity war especially iron man's suit so i really want to do a custom paint job based on his bleeding edge armor and after we're done that we're going to do some modifications to the internals on photoshop i did a really ugly mock-up of what i thought the iron man paint job was going to look like but i wasn't too happy with it i was too lazy to fix it so i just went back Back to a good old pen and paper. As you can see, I just designated certain parts different colors. So I did my best to try to sand off all the writing and Sharpie, all the little imperfections on this, and hopefully that'll work well. So I'm right now going to wash these off, let them dry, and then I'm gonna start the spray painting process. Oh great, it's time for my favorite part, masking. Just recently I bought this enamel paint set and hopefully we can utilize some of these colors to make this gun really pop out. We have metallic gold, red and blue and those are the ones that I'm going to be using. As you can tell, the masking tape that I was using is absolute garbage. I'm never going to use it again. Lots of silver leaking onto the red. I did try my best to fix up all the imperfections due to the masking tape. I'm going to add some blue accenting to it because in the movie and on his suit, you can see these tiny little blue cells on his suit, which kind of look like mini arc reactors powering up his armor. All right, so I got a couple of the Avengers stencils printed out and pasted onto the gun. Originally, I was planning on using an Iron Man mask stencil instead of the Avengers logo, but those are way too difficult to cut out by hand, so I'm glad I stuck with this. This suit first premiered in Infinity War, and there's a chance that we'll see it in Avengers 4 as well. Moment of truth, let's see if this turned out. Oh, man. Oh god, that did not turn out well at all. Oh, I'm disappointed. Oh yeah, that is way cleaner. Still have to do some touch-up, but in general, that's not too bad. All right, so I'm done the cosmetic aspect of this mod. I finished spray painting, detailing, and applying the clear coat. Now we're gonna move on to juicing up this Nerf gun. Thanks to Orange Modworks, we have ourselves a five kilogram spring, as well as some new O-rings. The spring is really going to help improve performance in this blaster compared to the stock spring, and a new O-ring is going to help with the seal. I'm also going to seal up this hole with hot glue, as well as apply some felt to the inside of the plunger tube to help soften any impact from this more powerful system. I'm also going to be drilling out the air restrictor. Things are looking really good, I'm excited for this. All right, everyone, without further ado, I bring to you my Nerf Avengers Iron Man Mark 50 Recon.
overall, I'm just very satisfied with the paint job and the performance modifications. The balance of colors really encapsulates the Iron Man mantle and specifically the Mark 50 armor. On the grand scale, of course, we have his signature red and his gold colors. And within that, we also have that blue axting. These are like mini arc reactors, little things that are powering up his suit and giving him all that juice. Because man, his suit is so overpowered in Infinity War. Also, I took an ink pen and just accentuated certain grooves inside the blaster. And also, I finished it with minor silver parts that aren't too overpowering on the blaster. And the gold especially gives off this metallic sheen when you have light reflecting on it. I'm not gonna lie, the Avengers logos, not as clean as they could look, but I think that's the best you could do by hand using literally regular printer paper. Internal modifications that I did include adding a 5kg spring, adding a new o-ring, lubing it up, sealing up a hole in the plunger tube, removing the air restrictors, and also removing the magazine lock. Performance-wise, this is very much superior to its stock form. It's no longer getting your really wimpy end strike average ranges. It's definitely up there with at least elite ranges, which is a huge improvement. So I'm definitely getting at least 30 foot flat ranges with this blaster. And I just gotta thank Orange Mod Works for making this all happen, especially with that five kilogram spring. Without it, this mod wouldn't be as cool as it is. Shout out to Similin for answering last week's question of the day. He actually got it two weeks in a row, so congrats. Answer this video's food for thought using one of the hashtags and you might be featured in the next video. This blaster is based on the armor that we first see in Avengers Infinity War, but my bet is we're also going to see it in some capacity in Avengers 4. So I think this blaster will also apply to Avengers 4. I'm going to try to drop this video on the same day that the Avengers 4 trailer comes out, and we'll see if my guess is correct. This was a lot of fun to do, it was a great learning experience for me. I did not expect to put as many hours into this as I actually did, but I'm glad I did it. I'm very happy with how things turned out. And I think the biggest takeaway for me is I got to improve my sanding and also my spray painting techniques so I can come up with an even cleaner paint job next time. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to check out my other Nerf Mod videos, they're on the screen. If you're in the mood to buy some of the latest and greatest Nerf gear, I got a lot of Amazon links down below in the description. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.